Lads and ladies, welcome to an Ultimate Champions video, which is part of a new monthly Ultimate Champions series. What the fuck? I'm as confused as you all are, but this game does in fact still exist. My last video on Ultimate Champions was actually about four and a half months ago to kick the season off, and that's because historically for me, Ultimate Champions has been a bit of a set and forget game mode. But honestly, I've really been enjoying Ultimate Champions over the last couple of months ever since they've updated the reward structure. They now mostly pay out in champ token and MGC coins as the rewards with the occasional epic cards up top in certain tournaments. And you know, naturally this is a bit more volatile in certain aspects, but for the most part, I feel like this is an improvement on the previous reward structure as more it gets rewarded for more varying amounts of managers instead of the top brass motherfuckers. That sounded right in my head, but I don't know if that came out my mouth weird when I did the words, but you know, we're gonna fucking stick with it. So you get what you get, ladies and gentlemen. And here we go. I'm opening some of these gold packs on the screen right now. They have a green goo value of about $100. Now, do I truly believe MGC is worth $100? Um, absolutely fucking not. More often than not, the gold pack will yield less than $100 worth of cards. MGC is much more decoupled from the dollar than champ is in that respect. But hey, you know, we get some decent cards out of using this green goo to open packs. Kwame Poku himself here is a very nice mythic card to get, as he is certainly worth over $100 right now, as he has been a banging form for Peter Brett this season. And you can technically get this MGC as a completely free to play account as well. You can use the common cards you get from the onboarding process to enter the league, and then you can win MGC in this free to play format. Shameless plug in bound because there's never been a better time to get involved. Use my link in the description down below if you're going to, because I'll get some cold hard cash money from it if you do. And I've got to be honest, I like having more money than I like having less money in my life. So, you know, you'll get some free shit as well. And when life gives you lemons, uh, take them because free shit it's fucking cool. But in all seriousness, even if you don't use my link, use someone else's at the very least. And I've then got these two videos here, the ultimate guide to ultimate champions and an ultimate champions onboarding process guide that will help you kickstart your account in the best way possible. Maybe. I'll fucking know. But let's get back to those gold packs I'm opening with the MGC I want. I got a Mythic Duris here and then one of the best strikers in the Slovakian league, Tigran. What's his name? So naturally the only thing to do at this point was go out and buy a full fucking Slovakian pro league team for $200, which I definitely realized they were going on a winter break. I didn't buy this team not realizing they had a winter break coming up. I would never do that. <sighs> I had some spare MGC lung about to bulk out the squad with some silver packs and then I spent $200 on actual cards to enter the pro at Slovakian League tournament. So I'm just quite interested to see if I can recuperate the cost here across the second half of the Slovakian League season. And uh, I'm not going to lie to you, I've never heard of any of these fucking players prior to purchasing them, but the last five scores alone is a big indicator that this is a strong group of players. Not only that, but I aim to secure players in the top half of the league, so typically more often than not, winning games in turn getting good scores. Makes fucking sense, right? Some real tactical masterclass shit going on here today, motherfuckers. And we can see here in the first and only game week before the winter break that I could utilize these players in that I, uh, I I kind of shit the bed and came 11th, but you know, that still got me a little bit of MGC. That was like, we're $15 to go towards packs. So, uh, you know, every little helps considering I spent $200. That's already like fucking a percentage. I want to say like seven and a half percent of that money back in one game week. And that was, a quite poor game week as well. So I'm confident these lads will secure the bag throughout the rest of the season. But let's get to the nitty gritty lads and ladies. Who doesn't love an Excel spreadsheet? Shout out to Moldy. I know he's a big fan of them and I uh, may expand this to other areas of my account soon enough. But for now, purely looking at the Nike Liga, we can see where the outlay was for these cards. A significant amount on Stodgy's Mythic there. I bought him alongside Lavrincic and Rick Turek from longtime friend of the channel, LTFC, who did in fact score the winning goal at the Ultimate Champions Emirates event last year, which uh, we're still waiting for footage on. If we could get that, that would that would be lovely. Royal in here, I'm on the fucking Arsenal pitch. This is fucking insane. Probably used to just see my face and torso, but I do in fact have legs and I have just played football. Wow, what a day. Uh, you know, some might say it's greedy having two legs, but I don't, I think it's fair. I, I enjoy my legs. And I think for the most part, this team will recuperate the cost, but most likely in MGC and Green Goo, which then has to go towards packs in the game, which is fine. You know, it's all part of my big 2024 plan to uh, develop and expand my Ultimate Champions account. Long-term, baby. And part of that 2024 plan was cleansing my account, where I basically gone through all of the players that I currently had and decided who I was happy to sell, you know, if they were surplus to requirements or backup at best. You get the picture. And all of this was in a bid to raise some more champ to allow me to purchase more top end cards on the UC spectrum because honestly I've had these cards sitting in my account maybe for fucking months or even years at this point and they've just not really been fucking doing much they've been pretty useless I don't use them too much in the tournaments uh, you know they don't really get the scores to be useful so there's just fucking no reason for me to hold on to them anymore say la vie motherfuckers lots of weird shit today but you know 
this one's all off the cuff. I don't I do not do a lot of Ultimate Champions videos and maybe now you can see why. Because some of these players maybe had their day in the sun, but a lot of the time it's even just fucking pointless having them as backup or on the bench in a lineup because what's the fucking point in then coming on and getting a score of 27? You're not going to fucking win anything with 27. I'm pretty sure like Suna said, like you're not going to win anything with kids. Well, I'm Suna as a bottom of champions and you're not going to win anything with 27s. It's a terrible number. Get them gone. I want the champion. I want to buy better players and you know, we're fucking getting rid of them. We can see here I'm selling a lot of players. They're all fucking adding up to some decent champ going in towards the account, which can be used on better players. Like I got this Luke Thomas for about 1,800 champ and I could afford that by selling all these shit players that I never fucking use. So it's all going really well so far. I'm, uh, 2024 is off to a great fucking start. So let's get fucking crazy today and live pick a UC International Tier 2 Pro team as that is where the strength in my account lies. Now we need 11 players here, seven epics outfield, and then three mythics, and then you can use a common or another epic card somewhere else. And I sort of like using three very strong mythics here. You know, if you're going to be competing in these competitions, you've got to sort of go on the high end of the spectrum, high end players, and really utilize those mythic spots for the bonuses. So I've got Poku, Levitt, and James Belshaw. My defenders weren't quite good enough. And then I either need eight epics or seven epics and the common. Now I know that my epics aren't quite the best when it comes to forward, so I usually like to utilize a common spot here, quite strong, and then a decent epic. So Ricky J. Jones is in good form lately, second versus 23rd, he's obviously going in. And then at a common spot, you know, Mason Clark is an option here, but I know there's a free player stacking limit on Peterborough players, and I'd rather use a Peterborough player in midfield. So I'm probably gonna look elsewhere and you know what? I'm going to fucking never. He's, he's got a favorable game. He's been in good form. We're going to we're gonna stick him in. So I can use a common card somewhere else. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check in defense who is a good common card to use here. Probably going to stick with 4-4-2. Uh, again, can't use Peterborough players. Like you can see, all the Peterborough players are fucking smashing it on form. Uh, I'm going to pair Will Fish up, Hibernian Defender, with Dylan Levitt, also of Hibernian. That sort of makes a bit of sense there. And then the rest of the cards will need to be epics. But I know I've got some decent epics here from League 1 and League 2 teams. Uh, Ricardo Santos should be back from suspension. He's in. Frankie Kent of Harps. Problem is they're playing Hibernian, so a bit of a clash there. So we'll go Dunkley for now. I'll probably go Kent anyway, but yeah, we're, we're going to go Kent still. Like He gets banging scores and, you know, Levitt and Fish can still get good scores themselves, even if Kent does as well. It's not like one of them's going to be shit if the other two do well and vice versa. So we're going to give Kent the green light. And as you can see, yeah, Peterborough FC over here, they've got some fucking banging scores, just green for days. And I'm colorblind and I can see that's green because they're that fucking green. And we're going to get Burrows in. He's uh, highest on that list for a reason. He's got some cracking scores there. I'm pairing up with Poku and Ricky J. Jones. Now you see the problem here is if I put Archie Collins in, we'll see on his little score down here, he's got a little arrow. And that's because I've got a stacking penalty on him, which in theory could be fine because their scores are so good anyway. It could be worth taking the hit, but I feel like it's just not worth taking that 25% hit, you know, I can use him in another tournament and then utilize another card here. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, Bristol Rovers, obviously I'm a Rovers fan. We've got Pompey who are top of the league. So I'm going to avoid putting Rovers players in here in my strongest lineup. And I feel like the player here is going to have to be Connor Hurahan, uh, Derby away at Wigan, one of the less than good teams in the league. His scores have been a bit hit and miss lately, but you know, we can see one four four there, one six seven. He is capable of those good scores. And he's going to round out the lineup. Uh, I'll do the bench off camera. I won't waste any more of your precious time. But like you can sort of see, like that's a strong team that in theory should be able to push for the top fucking five or ten places and get me some good champ and MGC. I think captain here. It's going to have to be a Peterborough player, right? Uh, home against Reading. I'm going to captain Burrows. And yeah, that's a, that's a good team. I'll sort the bench out shortly. Uh, if I could improve, I definitely think Belshaw and goal. It's a weak area and never up front probably could be a bit better, but I'm, I'm quite happy with the back four and middle four. Let's have a quick look at the rewards and what I stand to win. And we can see the champion of this gets about $120 in total. You know, it's even still $90 for second and about $60 for third. So obviously it gets less and less and less, but I'm I'm just all about stacking that MGC right now. I'm a big fan of stacking that MGC. Obviously the champ is nice as well. It is all very nice if you can win. So let's try and win and we'll just have a jolly old good time well this video is probably quite fucking long by now so we're gonna sign off for today's episode i guess uh, i just kind of want to keep track 
of how well my team's doing, how much money I can make across 2024 in Ultimate Champions, just to sort of give you guys a comparison to so rare as well. I know there's not a lot of Ultimate Champions content out there right now. Uh, it's definitely not up there with so rare. Let's be honest, it's, it's not quite there yet. Maybe it never will be, but I like it. I'm having fun with it, and we're, we're just gonna see how we do, and we're all gonna have a fucking good time, all right? <coughs> oh, fuck me. The thing is, I already have a Road to Glory series for so rare, so I kind of want to call this something else, which I've not really settled on a name yet. I guess the Ultimate champions money maker 2024 series or some shit so i hope you liked my foray back into ultimate champions and if you didn't like it well that's okay you can just go and fuck yourself i'm just kidding you, you don't have to watch it but i'd really appreciate it if you did and i'll catch you next time because i fucking love you